intro. Good morning guys and happy Valentine's Day. Today is Wednesday the 14th of February and I'm about to bring my man some toast and tea and Valentine's cards in bed because I'm a good wife. Today I'm very happy because I just did four low days and weighed in at 115.6 pounds. Yes, a new low weigh-in. So I was a bit disgruntled at the weekend because as you know I binged if you haven't watched that video go back and watch it it's the previous video and I was obviously really pissed off and disappointed in myself but it just shows that one day doesn't ruin your prep it doesn't ruin your diet so just get back on it like I did and now I get to have a high carb day and you get to see what I eat on a high carb day this is not a mega high carb day it isn't a refeed day it is just bringing me back up to maintenance so there is not going to be excessive amounts of carbs but for me it is way more carbs than I'm eating now and I'm quite pleased with it so yay I haven't eaten yet I fed the dogs and I did a little Instagram check-in because if you didn't know on my Instagram on my Insta stories I've been checking in daily i've been adding them to my progress tab on my insta stories so you can literally go in and look at my progress every day for the past pretty much month or two it's a good way for me to keep on track and to be accountable to check in with you guys every day well almost every day some days i miss it but nearly every day i'm talking a bit funny because i have my liners back these are hopefully my last set of invisalign liners braces and to be honest i lost my last ones i was meant to keep them on for three weeks as the new ones were being made and i lost them so my teeth have moved and now it is extremely painful i haven't taken them out yet because i feel like it, when you take them out it feels like it's pulling your teeth out it's so sore only for the first couple of days but if you have any more questions about invisalign or about adult brace or anything just hit me up down below and i'll try and answer it but yeah they are quite sore because i only put them in yesterday went to the dentist yesterday so oh, i'm afraid to take them out because it's gonna be really painful but i have to take them out soon because i have to eat and my friend Sophie Aris is coming today to train. We are doing a glute session. We're going to go and train in the Coliseum gym. Then I'm going to eat all the carbs. Well, as many as I am allocated, which isn't all the carbs, but I do have a plan to have a cinnamon raisin bagel. That's going to be fitted in. I'm going to make chicken burger for dinner. That's going to be fitted in. I'm quite looking forward to it. And no, go away, snow. There's been really heavy snow here the last couple of days and it's literally, when it falls, it comes down so heavy that it like blocks us in. We can't get up our drive and I've had to shovel my own driveway. Yeah. Lex couldn't even get home the other night so we had to park at a garage about a mile up the road and walk. So go away, snow. We don't like you. It's February. You're my two Valentines. <laughs> my husband. Oh. And my Sophie. I'm so crouching the past. Like, <laughs> oh, no, though. Yeah. I, I did actually ask if I was able to come round because, uh, you know, it's pro probably not the best day to come round. Like, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Wheel. Third yeah. wheel. <laughs> That's what you're calling now, wheel. Yeah. Like, if you see on anything, just go, all right, wheels. She'll, she'll respond. But I have got a bit. <laughs> I gave, I gave her one of my protein brownie bites as a treat, but she says it looks like poo. So I'm sure it tastes like <laughs> absolutely divine. I'm telling you, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it all melts. I'm going to try and wait until I get home, but it is an hour's drive and I'm going to probably eat that afterwards. <laughs> so we're full of coffee, we're full of carrot cake muffins, and we're going to go and do a glute and hamstring workout, because that's what you do on Valentine's Day, and it's still flipping snowing! I
Everton actually. I can't I have you that. I thought it'd be shit because yeah. sometimes when I train with friends, I spend my whole time chanting. I know, but we were so, we on we it. it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I'm gonna be really sore from those bands. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think it's always, sure. it's always very good with bands. I think as well, when you train with someone else, they have different exercises that you don't do. Yeah. And then it'll just make you sore in places you never felt before. Yeah, exactly. So the music's really loud in here. And I'm gonna go home because our masseuse is at home. And I got a new washing machine. <laughs> the stories of married life. <laughs> I'm so excited. New washing machine. Rock and roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back in from the gym. And oh, I'm so excited. My new washing machine. No, it's not a crappy Valentine's present from Lex. Our one the other day when I was washing the dog's bedding. I opened it up and a big puff of smoke came out of it. So I decided it was time to invest in a new washing machine. Now it's time for a massage. Yes. Okay, just in case Lainey's been telling you that her life's really hard and it's difficult, you know, she's just pushing the boundaries every day, struggling through. Check this out. Oh. Don't you put on hours. <laughs> Before this, she was like, ooh, ah. but it's worth it. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, darling. <laughs> it honestly didn't feel this sore before we started. You can see all the blood coming to the area there. Look at your little weirdly muscly back. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm getting so lean. Lean. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. That's Stabby McStabbington. So welcome to Lex Voice of a moment of Lainey having acupuncture. Did you take a deep breath in? We can see Becky oh. maliciously stabbing her straight in the neck. That one's into the spinal cord. Feel alright? Yeah. Can you put one in somewhere that like no. reduces vocal volume? <laughs> no? No. Oh. Feel that? Yeah. Feel alright? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're manipulating where you're putting it? Once yeah. it's in? So when you put it in, you're just going to push it in a bit of like a few cent, like just a centimetre. But, oh there we go. Sometimes the, if the muscle can be that tight, it can stop it from pushing in. Like you see when it were bending then when I'm yeah. trying to push it. I feel it pulsating because the muscle is like, yeah. like pulsing. And they have these little springy heads on them, so even if the needle's moved, once it's in, this bit of the needle gives. So you can't really go too wrong. Can you still speak? Yeah. Damn it. You can see that one's pulling against the skin, and that one's where? Levator scab, what was that job? So it like supports the neck, so it starts, it inserts up into the top of the neck. Yeah. And then it just attaches to that superior angle of the scapula. You can literally see the blood in the areas where it's making it react. It's crazy. Hiya! Side boob action. Mm -hmm. you know, ah, no, failed. That was a double nipple view. <laughs> a delayed breakfast. So we have some egg whites scrambled with some protein cheese, three pieces of bacon topped with ketchup on some nimble bread. Mm bacon and egg sandwich. Basic but delicious. I'm having skimmed milk in my coffee today as opposed to the coconut almond milk because it has more carbs. I've got a fulfill bar. I put the fulfill bar in the microwave for 15 seconds because it was a bit hard and now it's all like gooey and delicious. It's the white chocolate cookie dough one. Look at my mascara, it's all down here from the massage. Top tip is if your protein bar is a little bit hard, just put it in on a very low heat in the microwave for a couple of seconds and it just softens it and makes it yummy and edible. As it is my high carb day, I'm making the most with some extra snacks. I have one pack of these well and truly crunchy cheese sticks from Muscle Food and the macros on them are really good anyway. There's 3.5 fat, 
15.6 carbs and 2.1 protein. And I had one of them earlier, hence why it's empty. Right now I am having a cinnamon raisin bagel thin. They are 24 grams of carbs from the New York Bakery Company and I topped it with some high protein salted caramel peanut butter from Dr. Zach's. It is so good. You just have to avoid going at it with a spoon. And I've had 12 grams of the wild blueberry St. Dalfour very fancy jam but I really like it it just tastes really good there's no added sugar in it the carbs simply come from the fruit and it's 52 grams of carbs 52 grams of sugar per 100 and I had about 10 12 grams of that so that's me getting my carbs in the fun way I've been experimenting again in the kitchen <laughs> they're a bit bigger than I think I'm going to make them this was just an experiment so they are chocolate protein balls Yum. I'm going to share the recipe on Instagram soon. I actually use a very unusual and unexpected ingredient. So you just have to wait and look on Instagram. Right now the macros aren't right because I've only made three big ones, but I'm going to probably make five smaller kind of bite-sized, truffle-sized ones. And uh, the macros are pretty good, guys. And they are super easy to make and Lex quote unquote said they are delicious so that is a thumbs up from lex and that was his valentine's truffle delight i'm gonna make a burger now for dinner and enjoy that lex has gone out because he's a really bad husband no he's actually a really good grandson because his pop-up his granddad is in hospital and lex has gone to visit him he has pneumonia right now because he's quite old he's 98 and sometimes 98 year olds get poorly but he's gonna be fine and he'll be out soon because he's been treated and it'll all be good so we're being positive and i've got grumpy cat on my t-shirt my whole outfit actually guys is from apart from the cardigans from asos and it's just like comfy but my entire outfit is from Primark the t-shirt cost me seven pounds and I cut it up because I like a crop t-shirt to show off my newfound abs and the jeans if you can see them super nice are 13 quid oh I've got my liners in the back because they were hurting me and I'm gonna go and have dinner now and probably watch some TV have a chilled out evening wait for Lex to go home. Just made my burger. This is like a concoction I just cooked up. I used some minced chicken breast from Muscle Food and then I mixed in some of this hot red hot frank sauce, the wings one, because it's a little bit sweeter. And then I also blitzed up a, a corn cake and I used that to bind it together instead of breadcrumbs. It's only four grams of carbs for these like corn cake thins. And I put some of the muscle food protein cheese in the middle. So it's like, it's like cheesy tastic burger. And I'm just gonna pop it on here. And on top of the bun, I've put one of these blue cheese laughing cow triangles. So it's kind of like, you know, like buffalo chicken wing burger because you have the blue cheese dippy sauce, but it's in the blue cheese triangle. And then you've got the wing sauce in the actual burger. So I'm presuming this is going to be absolutely delicious, but it's just to show that you can create anything. Just look inside your cupboards and see what's there and see what you fancy putting together and you can create something yummy and fantastic that will still fit your macros guys and you'll stay on track. I've just added on some of these mild picante peppers and they look like that and they're super spicy slash sweet and it's just to add some extra flavour and it'll only add 1.8 grams of carbs because I only put 10 grams on I measured it all out. So just flavour without the calories. You can always do it guys, you just have to look inside your cupboards. Final meal of the day and I'm having me some ice cream. I am combining 110 grams of the Asda chocolate froyo, which is super low in fat, so it's only 2.5 grams of fat per 100 grams. Then I've added on a little bit of PB2, so I've got five grams of that. And then I've got a little drizzle 
of caramel syrup. So guys, that's me done for the day. That was a high carb day. I had loads of fun with Sophie. I had a really nice Valentine's Day with Lex. And then tomorrow I'm gonna have another high carb day because I get two in a row. Yay! If you enjoyed the video guys, make sure to give it the thumbs up. If you have any questions at all or any comments or any encouragement you want to give me, make sure to comment below. I appreciate all the encouragement and all the comments that I've been getting from all you guys. And I will see you very, very soon. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, fly them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.